are here today because we believe in a better America. Restoring our middle class is key to getting the economy back on track. And one of the best ways to help America's families improve their standard of living is to pass the Employee Free Choice Act. When workers have a fair and simple path to join a union, they have the opportunity to earn better wages and benefits. The Employee Free Choice Act does three things. It requires that companies recognize unions whenever a majority of employees sign cards saying they want a union. It requires that if negotiations get stuck, it'll be settled by an impartial arbitrator. And it creates meaningful penalties for employers who break the law. The Employee Free Choice Act will not eliminate a worker's right to a secret ballot. This legislation will put the choice of how workers form unions in their hands, not big corporations. So workers can form a union when a majority signs up, or have an election if they want one. Yale New Haven Hospital is a poster child for why we need the Employee Free Choice Act. Yale New Haven Hospital is just one of the great hospitals in America as it's grown into our second largest employer. And it's important because it contributes to the wage and benefit scales and frankly, the well-being therefore of the families of Greater New Haven. Yale University, Yale New Haven Hospital, both world-class institutions, but only one provides world-class wages and benefits. I work at Yale and make good wages because we have a union. I work at Yale New Haven. Same work, same years of service, but I make two fifty an hour less because we don't have a union. We had built majorities three times. Twice before, the hospital refused to recognize the union. If a majority of workers walk into the boss and say, we all want to negotiate as a, as a group, as a union, that should be enough. Unfortunately, under current federal labor law, it's not enough. When an election is scheduled under the National Labor Relations Act today, hardball begins. And we got within two weeks of that election. And suddenly, the hospital went nuts. Yeah, it was like walking into a war zone every day. Having an election in a workplace that is overseen by management that is hostile to the union is a fundamentally undemocratic thing to do. There's a bill before Congress that calls the Employee Free Choice Act. The mechanism is very simple. It's majority sign-up. Simply means that if 50% plus one of the workers in a workplace want a union and they sign a card or a petition, they have a union. We want to restore the American dream. I think the Employee Free Choice Act literally is the single most important campaign that we have that's about restoring the middle class and restoring the future of a healthy and thriving labor movement in the United States and a progressive politics in the United States that puts working families first.